Welcome everybody, this is Jason Seacrest and we are going to go through another step-by-step -step Adobe Illustrator tutorial. And what we are going to be adding on right now is all of our colors as well as all of our shadows. And we're going to kind of do that all in the same fell swoop and we're going to go through some just different versions that will make your life as easy as possible. The first thing that I would do, I am selecting everything on that layer. So what I want to do is I want to drop on over to Object. I want to do Live Paint. I am going to click on Make. I am pretty strong about my feelings on Live Paint Bucket. So Live Paint Bucket is right on over here. And keep in mind what we're really doing is whenever we are looking to color, we want just a really basic fill. So in order to have a fill, I need a shape. So what we are doing with Live Paint Bucket is we are actually creating a shape in the exact shape that we need. I am just going to drag that up so we can see it. And whenever I'm doing my flat color, kind of that middle value for right now, and we might come back through and change it. But we are just going to do some really, really basic ones. So I'm just kind of taking that middle. You're going to notice that the shape highlight on up, and it is me pointing and clicking. That is how easy and basic this thing is. I am going to click on all of our colors. Notice that there's this nice little button that says expand. Now this is what we want to do. This is all one big shape right now. And this is actually a great one to have for our background. So I am going to duplicate that out. This is going to be our background. And I, let's just do it for right now. Just so you can kind of see what we're going to do with it. So notice I have all my colors here. There are all my colors. They're hidden. I am not staring at them. Let's leave them, lock them out. So on this layer, I am going to unite everything. So I am selecting everything on that layer and now I'm uniting them. So all I am looking for is a big giant silhouette. And then what we want to do is I want to drop on down. I am just pulling this out. Is I want to bring back in my anchor point guides. I am pumping back in our nice little shadows. So I'm going to grab our ellipse tool. And then I am just dragging out some nice little ovals. Okay, so we have just some really basic little circles. That's going to read as our shadow. And let's just grab all of that. I am going to unite all of the shadows. Again, just pay attention to we have all of our stuff hanging out right above it. So this is what it's looking like right now. Since we're building on another layer below it, all of the color is on top. So it's not going to have any issue whatsoever. Let's just finish up that background while we have it selected. I am going to drop down to where it says path. I want to do an offset path. I'm going to click on preview 0.125, something that's a little bit chunky. You could even do 0.1 if you want. I'm going to click on OK. And while that is still selected, I am just coloring that little white swatch. I'm going to control minus and I'm just going to draw out a nice little rectangle. Now what I want to do first is I want to right click. I want to arrange. I want to send that to back. I'm going to click on radial. So this is gradient. Notice that our nice little path just popped right on out. I'm going to select on radial and I'm just picking some simple blue swatches. You can pick whatever swatches you want. All right, that looks good. And then let's just do this while I am on this layer and then we'll finish that background up. I'm going to click on stylize. I am going to do a drop shadow. And I am just bumping out that X. Oh, let's drop that down to 50%. All right, that looks good. So background is done. We are kind of bumping out our light source so you can kind of see where that is going. So our background layer is done. Double clicking on my magic wand. I just want to make sure that tolerance is pretty low just so I'm only grabbing the right color. My tolerance is set at one. I'm going to select all of the pink. I am in my appearance panel. I am going to drop down to inner glow. I'm going to click on preview. And notice that we have a pretty ugly color right now that's just black. I'm going to recommend for your mode to have normal. I think it is easier to see what is actually happening. Come over to color swatches. I'm going to find all my pinks. I'm going to click on our darkest pink. And I'm just going to see if that is reading how I want. 
you can always modify this color. So I'm going to come in. Let's do all of our skin color. I am going to come into our effects panel and let's just do the opposite so you can kind of see the, the difference. I'm going to click on inner glow. I am going to come in and I just want kind of our whites. I'm going to want a center. Now let's click on preview and let's just see if that is kind of reading how I want it to. So whenever you have this blur, you can always bump this up, see what's happening with it. At a certain point, you're going to notice that if it's too big, everything, it's, it's just not going to do anything. Or the face that looks pretty good. I'm going to click on OK. All right, I'm going to take my magic wand. Let's do all of the whites. That is going to be the teeth as well as the tail. I'm going to go FX. Let's do the same thing. I'm going to do a stylize, inner glow. Again, you can always modify this. This is a live working effect. So if you don't ever like anything, you can always change it back. I'm going to click on OK. So I have a white fill, and this is how silly this is going to be. I am just going to kind of just focus on that front edge. And again, our nice little round. And I want to see if that, that might work out pretty well. So let's do that again. I am trying to just kind of mimic that initial front shape. Clicking on whites. So notice I'm holding down shift. Click on our fun little round button. Kind of a feather. So this is going to be really, really pretty subtle once we come in. So go a little bit bigger because it's going to drag in quite a bit. And it is going to be a working shape so we can always modify it. This is just that initial, initial little shape. So I'm grabbing my whites, come over to effect. I am going to go feather. And I am going to click on preview. For that radius, I can start popping up how big. So notice that belly, that's pretty close to what I'm looking for. So I'm going to click on OK. We're going to leave that belly alone. So see how that's nice and little subtle. So let's go 0.15 and let's just see what that does. Looks pretty good. So I'm going to keep that. So notice it's 0.15. It's pretty subtle. It's just kind of popping some things out a tiny bit. So I'm just adding a nice little gradient. Notice it's radial. And then also notice that I can modify kind of that shape. And we could really modify this so it almost fits to a T on it looking good all right so let's do this i want to do some nice little cast shadows and what we want to do is i just want you to focus a tiny bit on what's happening in our layers right now we have everything in the same layer and it is also they all have effects so we don't necessarily want to come in and cut up any of the things that we already have so i think i want to just kind of pop in a layer above this is just going to be shadows and these are going to be pretty transparent, so we can just kind of have them right here. They're going to be hiding underneath our black, and then they're just going to kind of be transparent dropping through. So on that layer, let's go 50%, and we might be able to just make our lives easy. And I'm just kind of thinking of where a shadow would go. Notice I'm just keeping everything nice and straight, and we are just hiding in the stroke itself nothing fancy and then I can always come in I can always modify and I'm just seeing if that is reading as a nice little shadow so what I want to do is I think I want to let's come on in I think I want to do a similar thing with the feet now I'm going to click on shift C let's just round that out click on P notice that I'm just kind of dropping it in so I'm just building a nice little shape right underneath there as long as this is all hiding in that stroke, it is all just going to get hidden up. And just remember, we have the layer above. So that's what's actually happening right now. If you guys wanted to get really picky, you would come in, you could do your Pathfinder. You can clean all that up. That would actually be a pretty simple little one, but 
we are not going to worry too much about that today. All right, I want to go pen tool. I think it would be kind of fun to have these teeth casting a shadow. Control zero. Oh, this is getting fun. So maybe... So again, just notice I'm just hiding everything within that stroke. Okay, so we're just kind of popping stuff back through. I'm just kind of seeing where I would want some shadows to be. And just notice that we're just, all we're doing is just adding on some basic shapes. So with that pen tool, we're just hiding all of the edges within the strokes. We're not doing really anything fancy with them. All right, guys, I think we did it. I don't want to add anything more to this little guy. I think he is looking pretty good. I am going to let you go. Great job. Little digital high five. Definitely save, save, save. If you are going all the way through the tutorials, definitely say hello. It is my favorite part of the channel. But with that said, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you guys on the next tutorial.